Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to rearrange the formula for RL. If we take a look at the formula, on the left side we only have R and the right side consists of this fraction and in the denominator of this big fraction we have RL here. So we want to solve this equation for RL and as a first step we have to get RL out of this denominator of this fraction. We can't solve for RL if RL is on the bottom of this fraction here. So to get rid of this big denominator here we just have to multiply both sides of the equation by this denominator. So we multiply and write the denominator in parentheses and write the i minus v over rl in here on the right side and the same on the left side. We multiply by this denominator to get rid of this big fraction. On the left side we can get rid of the parentheses right now by multiplying each element of the parentheses by our r here so that we get i times r and then we have the minus and then we multiply this fraction by r as well so we have v over r l and we multiply it by r and on the right side it's way easier because we multiplied by the denominator which means that this cancels out here and only the numerator is left so only v. Okay this looks better already our rl is here we still want to solve for rl on the left side because of this minus here we have two parts this first part that doesn't have any RL in it and the second part with our RL. We can bring now the part without the RL to the other side of the equation because we are not interested in this part. We want to solve for RL. So let's bring this part to the right side of the equation by just subtracting this part on both sides of the equation. So we subtract i times r on the left side and we subtract i times r on the right side. On the left side this cancels out and only minus v over rl times r is left and on the other side we had the v here and we subtract i times r. This is how our equation looks like now. We still want to solve for RL and RL is part of the denominator again and to be able to solve for RL we have to get RL out of the denominator. So we have to multiply both sides of the equation by RL. So we take the entire left side and multiply it by RL so that we will get RL out of the denominator here. But we have to do the same on the other side. So we write the right side in parentheses and multiply it by RL as well. What happens then? On the left side we multiply RL by this thing here. Because we have a product here this is just one thing so RL cancels out with RL here and only the rest is left so the minus is left, the V is left and the times R is left and on the other side we multiply these parentheses by RL. But this time I wouldn't get rid of the parentheses so I wouldn't multiply everything here because we want to solve this equation for RL and if we multiply here we will have RL in two spots of the equation. But to be able to solve for RL it is better if it's just in one spot as it is right now. So I wouldn't change anything on the right side. I would just write it down like this as it is because it is a good thing that our RL is just in one spot here. 
because we want to solve for our L and we are almost done. We just have to get rid of these parentheses here. We can do that by dividing both sides of the equation by these parentheses. Then our RL is the only thing that is left on this side. So we divide by V minus I times R. You can write this in parentheses if you want to, but you don't have to if you put everything in the denominator. And the same here, we um, divide by these parentheses here. On the left side, we have one big fraction, minus V times R and the V minus I times R in the denominator. And on the right side, this cancels out and only R L is left and we did it and rearranged this formula for R L. We could stop here and get all the points or we could change one tiny thing and make this formula even more beautiful. So let's dive into this a little bit. What else we could do here? Maybe it's just me, but maybe it's the same for you. So please let me know in the comments if you would do the following. Because if we take a look at the right side here, we have a minus in the numerator of this fraction. And the minus in such a fraction, you don't have to have it in the numerator. You can also take it and write it in front of your fraction if you want to, or you could take it and write it in the denominator of your fraction. You just have to be careful that you write the denominator then in parentheses so that you apply the minus to your entire denominator. And this is what I want to do here so that my numerator is positive instead of negative. It's a little nicer. So on the left side we have our RL and on the right side we have our positive V times R now in the numerator and then we get rid of the parentheses by multiplying everything in here with our minus. So we have minus V and minus times minus gives us a plus, and then we have the i times r. And we could leave it like this, or we could switch these two here so that our formula looks like this. We have our fraction, the positive v times r in the numerator. And then if we switch these two, our i times r part is positive, and we subtract the V from this by just switching these two. And this is where I would stop then. Please like the video if it helped you. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.